Hi, my name is Jessica Tong. Um, I'm an editorial nail artist with C Management and I'm on a photo shoot today. Um, people ask me all the time, um, what do I bring with me on set? So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have um, with me. Um, one of the most important things to have on set is a folding stool because as you know nail artists we have to do pedicures and the nails are down low when the model's sitting in a chair so if you want to save your knees this is a lifesaver. Um, I like to always have a towel and paper towels so you don't get your clothes dirty. You can put this across your lap and do the nails over top of that. Um, I always have with me my Smith & Colt top coat and base coat, my absolute favorites. And today we have some cool colors from the shoot that we're using. Dark and edgy moment with Modern Salon. Um, Let's look at this kit. And I mean, it's not, it's not a big, huge kit. This is all you have to travel with? That's really all I need to get the job done. Um, the, the most bulky and heavy part of being on set is bringing options. Um, cause what they say that they want isn't always what they want. So I like to always have more than enough so that I always have what I need because my worst, worst fear is not having enough. And I'm an overpacker. So I'm one of those people that brings way too much stuff when I travel. So, <laughs> so what if you came here today and, um, the, the hairstylist who really art directs our, our photo shoots says she wants extensions or big, long stiletto nails. What do you do? Um, in that moment, we usually typically do press-ons. Um, we do, I like to use um, impress press-ons that you can even buy just at Dwayne Reed. It's like a pretty long um, nail and that it's, it's about this long, but it's square. So you can cut it to be any shape you want, like a coffin tip like mine, or you can file it into a stiletto. And the number one best thing about the impress is that the back of it has tape. So it says on the, the advertising that it lasts five days, but I don't know if that's true. So do you have them in here? I mean, do you um, come I, here today? You didn't know what you were doing. So. Yeah, I don't have them uh, with me on the table. They're in my kit. I mean, in my in my suitcase. Um, oh, so you do travel? With yeah, suitcase. yeah. I have a whole suitcase of other stuff just in case, you know, um, little things, foils. You never know. Um, Whole Foods. It's two for five. It's amazing and it doesn't smell or sting like Purell does. No offense, Purell. <laughs> um, moisturizer. Um, I like to have acetone and nail yeah, polish remover. Yeah, so we can see. I mean, um, this is, um, yeah, I mean, this is just 100% acetone. This is regular nail polish remover. Because you never know. The model you could be coming to yeah. could have sensitive skin. Um, a lot of people have sensitive skin, so sometimes you have to be, you know, I like to bring, that's why I have the antibacterial, the hypoallergenic, the super moisturizing. Um, CND solar oil. It's super moisturizing. It has like a little hint of a nice like floral coconutty smell, so it's kind of pleasant to have. Um, I also really like for moisture Dr. Hoshka's neem oil. You can also get this at Whole Foods. Um, and it's a pen. And that's like the most convenient thing because it doesn't spill oil all over. And if you've just done a nail, then you have more control to like not dent the polish when you're going around with the pen. So it's really great. All right, so flip this around. Where do you get this little kit? This actually, I'm actually not sure where it's from. My mom got this for me when I went to college as a shower caddy and I never used it oh. until I, I started working on set and I kept it all these years and I'm obviously not in college anymore, but I kept it all these years and started using it. So I'm pretty sure if you like look for a shower caddy online somewhere, maybe on Amazon, I'm pretty sure they'll have it. Okay, and what, tell us a little bit about these files. Like uh, these are um, just, uh, uh, yeah, they're. I mean, they're really just like two grains of files. I have, uh, you know, just like a regular for shaping the nail, and then this is a very fine, like 600 buffer. And I like to use something really fine because you don't want to over file the nail or scratch it. Um, that leaves you with an unsmooth surface to polish over. So really these CND buffers are amazing because it, and it also doesn't make the nail thin or damaged. Like it's really important to like make a smooth surface that's not. Okay, how do you keep your nails nice when you're doing all of this? Um, I use CND shellac um, and I've had this on for like two weeks now and it's been through probably 12 shoots um, and it's in pretty good shape. It's a little dirty, but um, I really like it. It 
keeps my nails looking decent and shiny and um, the top coat is really great because it, it's stain proof. So if you look, even though I have polish on my nails, it's not really stained in the top coat at all. Um, and this is one of their new colors called Future Fuchsia that I really like. It's like a metallic hot pink. Okay, um, so you're running off to Taiwan. Tell us, is this a good um, job? Yeah, I have um, a Vogue Taiwan shoot this afternoon with oh. six models, and my assistants are already on set. And um, yeah, it's going to be really. You, and you were running out, and I said, wait a minute, we need to do a quick periscope. Yes. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for thank doing you. this. You did a beautiful job today. Me. Very simple. We didn't we didn't make it too tough on you today. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks a lot, and have a great shoot this afternoon. Thank you. Okay, bye.